In 1981, aliens known as the Galaga attacked the Earth. Oh no! Three months later, Ersed forced the enemy to retreat. Nice! We won! Great! With the Galaga gone, Earth began to colonize. Colonize what? Man created colonies throughout the solar system. Expansion costs forced the large defense cut. Cuts. Okay. The money was put uh, towards terraforming research. Ooh, with expanding. Nanotechnology was seen as the way forward. Using self replicating nanodroids. That looks. The whole planet will be terraformed. Oh, interesting. Years later, the technology was complete. The Centurion and its fleet were launched. Nice. Testing was to, to take place on planets M 1123. It will take three years to get there. Look at us, such an advanced civilization. Two years after the launch, thousands of objects were found moving from M1123 towards Earth. Deep Space Explorer Centurion was told to continue. Another war was about to commence. Earth pilots were ready for battle. Gallagher remains were examined. New weaknesses had to be found. If the Galaga penetrated our defenses, that would suck. Our planet would be completely infested. The Centurion's fleets approached planet M1123 and shortly after ceased transmitting. Oh, something off happened. That might not be very good. I suppose that's what we're about to find out. And what is going on everyone? This is DK Magician and I welcome you to another video. The game I'll present you today is Galaga Destination Earth. I guess it's that time of the year where I bring another PlayStation Classic. This one is pretty old. I kind of forgot to see what year was this launched, but I was about 10 years when my parents gave the CD of the game to me. I'm actually using that CD to play this game. Hopefully it performs well, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so yes maybe around 20 years ago, but yes, it's a nice game, it's a nice uh, shooting uh, stuff game, like with planes and stuff, if you like that, you will enjoy this video. Well, let's go! So, new game. Give chase to the Galaga fleet and on route collect as many merits as you can to increase your ship capabilities. Be aware of drifting debris. It's okay, we'll be fine. So, we are the pilot of this thing right here, I guess. We need to check what, I, what happened to the Centurion stuff, and there's a lot of debris. Dude, move along. Nice. Oh, the thing was attacked, and we're being chased. That kind of sucks. This is the loading screen, that's nice, you can see the earth. I can actually see my country, no I can't anymore. <laughs> Say what? Okay. Wait, this what? game kinda pays homage to the arcade games of the past, like in the 80s or maybe in the 90s. Pretty simple stuff, you shoot them. Like this. I think you get a bonus for accuracy, so that's why I'm just not shooting like that. Not that I will care about that really soon, but right now let's try to stay accurate. Okay, this stuff is cool. It allows you to absorb an enemy if he gets too close. Oh, and he's dead. <laughs> it's okay. So the start is fairly easy. Okay, he's trying to absorb me. That 
kind of sucks a little bit. And we're losing some lives. Okay, see? I got an ally! Now I lost it again. Great! <laughs> okay, forget the accuracy stuff. I'm not that great. But there's a pointer right next to my score that says accuracy. And with this we clear the first wave. Let's go for the second one. I don't know how to earn more ships in this game, uh, uh, but yeah. <laughs> the start is pretty easy, as you can see, we're just doing so fine, absolutely fine. Take this green dude. You try to absorb me, I shoot you. Okay, let's try to do the absorption stuff. Oh, oh <laughs> crap. Yeah, I kinda suck at this game. It's okay though, what matter is having fun. Nice. Wave clear. Approaching the breeze field. Oh, it means stuff that we should try and not. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, wait. The controls are reversed. So, I guess I'll try to change that. Maybe if this it performs correctly. Okay. Yeah, okay, that's how I like it. You see, I click up, it goes up, it click down, it goes down, like this. We're supposed not like to get this. This means light or restoring stuff. This game is actually pretty hard. Now, there are attack patterns, this is like it's the same as previously, but uh, not really, because it's a little bit different because of the type of screen, you know, the pattern of attack is slightly different. Quite honestly, I'm not really a big fan of this one, but that's what you have most of the game, so kinda need to be careful. You can see that we have an ally, we're recruiting the new set to help us kinda sucks but helps a little bit I guess nice Arr. don't do that to me just some debris and some enemies increasing speed yeah gotta go fast Approaching flagship. Okay, this is a, yet another attack pattern. Where you attack from the side. Okay. Yeah, I like this one. Pretty simple. Yeah. Let's go! It's another of these dudes. Nice! Uh, let's go! Forward! Good! Actually down. Yeah, it's okay. And we're back at the attack pattern I'm not really fond of, but... Ooh! These guys think they're very advanced, that they throw blue stuffs at you. Leave me alone! I think you just got the hold on this part. I also like the music of this game. The graphics are kind of outdated, but sense considering that this game is at least 20 years old. Approaching power core. Oh no, they destroyed my ally. That sucks. Challenge stage. I think you have to shoot as much as possible. And not let any leak. Nice. No. Well, whatever. Oh, I suck at this game! 
good thing that it's just a challenge, I guess. We destroy... Yeah, we get the bonus. It's just for score stuff. It doesn't really matter that much. Leaving power core. Okay, those yellow things, if I recall, they're very important. So we need to get those. Oops! While not dying. Dying would suck. Whoa, I can get in the turret, I guess. Yeah! This makes my life super easy. Because I'm invulnerable. And I still suck at this, but yeah, whatever. Wave cleared. Yay. Collect ships to increase lives. Yes. Oh! That's how you increase lives. Good to know. Nice. Trust ability. Uh, yeah, you press square and this ship goes faster. Boss. What does it mean to be a boss? It means it's gonna be super hard. I guess. We'll see. Take this. Uh, come here, dude. Uh, yeah, we absorb one. Nice. This means more missiles will fly. No, no! Quick! Now you know what happens when you get absorbed. You lose one life, like, instantly. Even if you're at full. It just absorbs you. You need to be careful with these green dudes. Don't do what I'm doing. Come here, insect. I absorb you too. But my lives are kind of more important than the insect lives. Just one, at like a thousand or so. Or more. I don't know. You're attacking me! Dude, what the hell? You are mine, you're like my friend! Actually, not anymore. I think he has the same stats as I do. And he's dead. Wave cleared? This was the boss wave? Yay! We just completed this stage! Who's the boss? It's me! Congratulations! Stage 1 complete! And this, guys, is where we end the first episode, actually. We're gonna do one video for everyone on, the, like, on this stage. I'm gonna record this like as a whole session, but it will be one video for like every episode. So that will be all for this one. Stay tuned for the stage 2, where, as we will continue to explore the solar system and defeat this type of bugs and stuff. And subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. I also do a lot of Flash content. I've done pretty of that stuff a lot. Like, there's a ton of videos, like more than 200. Woo! <laughs> but well, that will be all for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one. Bye bye.